any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Not seeing any other nominations. All in favor of the uh, nominated officers? Thank you. So I'll move down the end to the right. To the right, I'm moving to the right. Thank you, Ben. Ben, I think you've, I think you've had this uh, seat for at least two years running. No, no, no. Oh. I was lucky this time. Well, <laughs> thanks, thanks for a great job during the past year, and thank, and thank you all. Uh, Next item is the approval of the minutes of October 27th, the regular monthly meeting. So moved. Second. Any corrections or uh, additions to offer? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have one point of order uh, on page five. Item number B, 2401 Broadway South Portland. There's the last sentence after the semicolon, pump station number two. It may not have been said, but that is actually a private pump station number two. It shouldn't be construed as our pump station number two. Mm -hmm. Someone not having the plan in front of them might, might think that was ours. So that should read private pump station number two would pump all flow into an existing pump. That were the second. Uh, we will clarify that, make it clear. Any other? Uh, page 7, 10 lines up from the bottom. At the end of the sentence, it says, of the pump station. We don't need an F. There's only one pump station in that development. Oh, I should have the pump station. There is, there's more than one. But uh, we already have ownership of one. Oh, is that what it is? We want new ones. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't need to be removed then. We already own the one? We already own the other one. Yes. So it's, it's singular. Yeah, so, we so it should be singular. Out. You're correct. It should be singular. And? That's it. That's it. Any other corrections or additions? If not, all those in favor? I abstain. Uh, Robert Shelley abstains. <coughs> okay, uh, Superintendent's Operations Report, please. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of October is included in your packet. Our average daily effluent flow for the month was 1.14 million gallons per day. Our uh, from quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 96% BOD removal and 96% total suspended solids removal, uh, with averages of 12 and 13 million to be suspected. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of October included in your packet. We had some high flows uh, reported at the Industrial Park and Liberty Road pump station. These flows occurred during an extreme wet weather event. Uh, although we are not certain, we feel a clean out may have uh, come dislodged in the sewer service that got submerged during the heavy rains. We're still trying to confirm this. Uh, we've been doing some TV work and field work to try to identify where the flow is coming from. Um, uh, pump station generators, we have changed our practice of weekly automatic exercising of generators to a manual operation that is performed once a month. This gives us the opportunity to observe the generators as they, uh, go, they start, transfer power, and operate under load, and then shut down, um, you know, looking for squeaky belts or uh, overheating, you know, things that may not trip, trip an alarm. Gives us you know, just an opportunity to have eyes on as things are running. Uh, the theory is um, hopefully we'll identify a problem before it exacerbates to a point that will call a, cause a generator to fail. Question? Yes. Uh, currently, uh, they, they auto start based on a uh, pre programmed schedule? Yes. And how frequent is that? Once a week. Once a week. 
So would it make sense to allow those to continue on the pre-program schedule and then on, uh, on a monthly basis through the manual? I don't think it's necessary. I, I really don't. We're, 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 we decided to try this change and see how it works and see if we, uh, if Carl feels the weekly exercising is a good thing, we will go back to it. Yeah, we're certainly up for changes. Um, you know, the discussion that Gary and, and um, Gary, Carl, and I have had and that we've also had with the genera generator uh, mechanics is that this weekly starting really isn't necessary. Um, that once a month is more than enough. Okay. I mean, I can attest to the fact that even if, with a weekly start, a generator could still fail to start with later. Mm -hmm. That has happened to us also. Uh, pump station, for example, pump station two, when that generator failed to start two years ago, the, um, <laughs> the exercise, it had exercised the previous day. Successfully. Successfully. Yeah. The question is, if it exercised with one of our guys there, would we have noticed something that would have brought our attention to it? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Shall I? Yes, Question Robert. on the DMR. Now, the time to ask that. Anytime. Yep. So, on the DMR, uh, the six column men on the flow data, grit review, uh, units are in ton several times during the month. It looks like there's 0.25, but at the bottom, the total is Oops. 12. But I was wondering what that That is means. probably an error. I will correct that. Really? Grit, total for the month is 12. 12, yeah. But it's 0.25 times. Yeah. 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 I don't know if at the end of the month there's yeah, it like, is a, like a mass clean-out or something. Yeah, it must be, you know, the, yeah. uh, the spreadsheet must have got corrupted. Yeah. That's my guess. Right. Um, oh, review of project approvals. Uh, Rhonda has completed a review of all the district uh, approvals that are on uh, our shelves. Um, I attached a summary which it really only kind of shows a fraction of the work that she's done. Um, she's broken it down in, by uh, pump stations, uh, service areas, and um, she, she really has done a great job and it has identified a, a number of projects that have exceeded their approved flows. Uh, with that, uh, you know, Rhonda has since left us and taken a full-time job with an engineering firm in Cumberland. And uh, she will be missed. She's a good temporary hire. So we have other data that shows for like pump station one, what was about to be going there and what is based upon. Yeah. This is the, what you've got there is just what was, this is a roll up of what was the approved flow for that pump station. Oh, this is the approved. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But um, oh, the, the, the data is more, if you go, if, if, you, oh, if well, we went into the spreadsheets, yeah. it's actually by map and lot number, uh, the address, the approved oh, amount, yeah. their peak mm -hmm. quarterly flows. She just sort of rolled it up into the pump station. I was trying, I, I had another spreadsheet to, uh, to, to show you, but it was just so cumbersome it didn't print well. well. What are the averages of flows? Yes, according to that, that's on, and that's about right. I mean, our flows right now are about 1.4 million, mm -hmm. 1.2, 1.4. So, I, I haven't gone into the depths of her spreadsheet to, to confirm everything, but um, yeah, these are on the approved flows. Some are way under, some are way over. And there are 38 pump stations? Yep. Or minus whatever numbers are missing? There's a couple missing in there, and I have to figure out what, what happened there. And it may be just be a numbering thing. That's the one discharging to the stream. Yeah. Uh, don't joke about that. <laughs> um, Verizon Wireless um, contacted me out of the blue last week, and uh, 
asked if they, you know, they said the, their interest in locating a cell tower at the uh, wastewater treatment facility has been rekindled. Uh, they're on site today, uh, walked the site and um, are still interested. They want to, they're very interested in moving forward with this as quickly as possible. Um, they are going to be uh, forwarding to me a, um, a draft contract um, that I will obviously distribute to the trustees and also to our um, legal counsel for review and uh, probably end up having a workshop to discuss this. That's in the future date once I get more information. And that, oh, one, one other thing, um, this past, uh, just recently, after I sent this out, we received a check from Memic for $2,328.65. This is a, um, a rebate, refund, I forget exactly the terminology, for basically um, good work, safe practices type at the district from three years ago. <laughs> So, and that is all I have in my report for this month. Thank you. Question? Yes. Have we heard anything from the folks at Unitel? Uh, I, I got a phone call from Unitel and almost a month ago at this point where uh, they were re in receipt of our counter. And they uh, asked if the board would consider another offer, and I said they certainly would consider it. And they said they were going to be putting it forward through our attorneys. Um, oh. Other questions? Good to move on. Uh, did you have anything you wanted to add, Dave? No, I'm okay. good. Um, correspondence, we have no new correspondence. Old business, we have no old business. New business, 300 Round We Drive. On behalf of Halo LLC, Gray Civil Engineers is requesting district approval for a change in use of the existing facility, um, uh, Mongolian Properties LLC, to the proposed. Bay, Bay Capelli Capelli. Salon, uh, which will be relocating their current facility at 450 Payne Road. Bay Capelli Salon services include haircut, shampoos, nails, eyebrows, and et cetera. What et cetera is, I'm not quite sure. Um, the uh, project consists of an expansion of the existing parking lot with no work proposed on the existing uh, utilities. I recommend approval with the following conditions. Uh, Bay Capelli Salon's peak quarter water use was 773 gallons per day. Approval is limited to 773 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Any future flows in excess of the approved amount or flow characteristics are subject to additional approvals. Uh, capacity reserve fees. The original flow allocation for this building was 160 gallons per day. Thus, 613 gallons per day is subject to the capacity reserve fee. The co current capacity reserve fee is 1518 per gallon and is adjusted monthly based on the engineering news records construction cost index. Based on the current ENR index, the total capacity reserve fee is $9,305.34. The capacity reserve fee is due prior to issuance of the sewer permit. Any flow above the 773 gallons per day will be subject to additional approvals and the capacity reserve fees. Solids in, uh, interceptor, an inline solids interceptor or receptors uh, must be installed and maintained as required by the superintendent and an interceptor permit will be required. The motion approval, Mr. Chairman, with said conditions. There a second? I'll second that. Who was that? Ben, ben, ben. ben. So, I do have a question. Yes, discussion. So, um, 
Are there any chemicals used at this place? Or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heavy so. use. It was going to be hard question there. too, um, because I am familiar with a facility in uh, York that did do some some sampling some, after the facility was online. Herm solutions, hair colors can be um, considered could be considered a high strength, and I know okay. that we've had an increased focus on them. So along the same lines as that, I'm going to recommend that maybe some spot sampling. Grab samples after the facility's online just to look for ammonia and a couple other things. Well, the, the facility actually is online already. Uh, they have an operation uh, that discharges in the district sewer, although I'm trying to think. I don't. I'd have to look at the facility's current uh, infrastructure to see whether we have a location that we could actually uh, take a sample. And that brings up a um, uh, discussionary item that. Uh, Ben was asking, there is not, on this site right now, there is not a sampling manhole that we could easily collect a sample. Um, that is something that we certainly could add if that is, you know. It's, it, that is actually shown incorrectly, uh, where it ties into the street. That doesn't come into the manhole, it comes in just downstream from that manhole. So why is that? It was not the so that manhole on the street could not be used as a sampling manhole. That you'd have to add one well, more sampling manhole. What about this interceptor you were talking about? Is that something under the sink? Uh, that would probably there'd be something under the sink or in, 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 uh, in it could be installed anywhere. You know, whether it's at each wash station or at the final discharge. Well. I guess the question I would have would be, why can't we go to the existing facility and do some checks there and see whether it's going to be an issue for us or not? Okay. It's an existing operation. We have other salons in town also. I don't think this has ever been raised as an issue yeah. um, from any of the other discharges, so I certainly wouldn't want to um, ignore a problem. I don't want to create one where there isn't one either. So I, I would, I'd suggest trying to do some sampling from the existing facility Quiet. and letting them know, letting them know what the concern is and taking a look at it and seeing what, what turns up. I mean, on Charlie's point, Mr. Chairman, I, I was wondering about this. This is just a business relocated. They're already discharged from our system. We're already taking it. We're already it. It seems to be successful. The, um, yes. That is true, but they may not be paying their fair share of operational costs if it's a high strength waste. Other users are absorbing those yeah. costs. Uh, so I think it's worth looking at. Um, and uh, I think it would probably be, uh, it would probably be a good idea to include that check is part of the motion here, so that we leave the door open for further action by us if that's warranted. I'll amend that motion to include that check in the existing facility. Is that okay, Ben? Thank you. I, I'll amend my second. Can okay. I um, ask a question? Um, or would it be if, if we find no issues, obviously, we just, I'm, I'm guessing. We just move forward as, as defined here. Mm -hmm. But if we do find there an issue, are you suggesting it comes back to the board or that we just have added one more item being a sampling manhole and a sampling requirement similar to what was defined for like the brewery, which was like. Well, I guess I don't want to say to require a sampling manhole if there's another solution, if there's another way to monitor internally that could be done and save the cost of a manhole and another structure in the ground. Mm -hmm. So I, I would think we just leave that to you to come back to us with that. I think the amendment just leaves it open that, that we'll have to do some additional evaluation and then depending on what you find, you can bring that back to us. If what you find is um, insig negligible or insignificant, then I think you just go forward with the approval that you have and just advise us what you've done. Okay. Um, a couple of questions. Uh, wouldn't they, we require uh, a user service agreement with them for this property? No. You wouldn't? Not typically. 
they have not in the past. So I don't think they've ever been. This has never been identified as a high as a high strength user or as a commercial or as an industrial type of user. Say their use doubles a year from now. You that whole thing that we have in writing that they only are eligible to have this much discharge mm -hmm. and we find out it's twice that in the future. Mm -hmm. Same situation that we've gone through in the past. Mm -hmm. How do we handle that? We, I approach them that they've exceeded their capacity, that they need to come to us and request additional capacity and, and pay for the capacity reserve. Their approval, which will be written, will very clearly state they're approved for 73 gallons per day. So we don't put that in the user service agreement? We just have it in our approvals. I think we only have user agreements with industrial classified oh, okay. users. Okay. Clarification. Yeah. Um, second, this is actually into a private sewer system? It, that's shown incorrectly. That's actually into a, uh, we own that system along there. We do own that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I need an updated map then. <laughs> okay. So do I. Any other questions, comments? All those in favor of the amendment? Unanimous. All right. We're ready to vote on the main motion as amended. All those in favor? Vote on the amendment? We just did. Did we? Somebody made a motion and a second. Yes. No, to amend. All those in favor of the, of the main motion? It's unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next item of new business is 499 Black Point Road, Prosnet Country Club. Prosnet Country Club has requested district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the sanitary wastewater flow from a proposed bathroom that will service the golf course. The proposed building will house two bathrooms, each designated for single occupancy. The estimated wastewater flow is 20 gallons per day, which is based on the golf course use record, records. Uh, wastewater will be pumped from the bathrooms via a private pump station and discharged into the districts um, into an existing uh, non-district town-owned two-inch force main and ferry road uh, that services the ferry beach bathrooms. Uh, I've also had a continued conversation um, with them on this and they may even look into extending the sewer on, the, on their property down to an area where they can tie directly into our system. So that piece of it may change. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The flow is limited to 200 gallons per day, typical sanitary waste. Any future flows in excess of the approved amount or flow characteristics are subject to additional approvals. 200 gallons per day is subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $518 per gallon. It is adjusted monthly based on the ENR's um, construction cost index. Uh, that total fee is $3,036. This fee is due prior to issuance of the sewer permit. And any <coughs> flow above the 200 gallons per day would be subject to additional approvals and uh, capacity reserve fees. Uh, provide a remote communication of alarms to the on-call service provider in accordance with district standards, including loss of commercial power and any un and an unpowered flow to indicate any sewer, sanitary sewer overflow issues. Uh, the panel's functionality shall be fully maintained at all times. Pump station shall be detected from flooding and provide an executed copy of sewer use agreement, which provides authorization to connect to the towns to and use the town's existing two-inch force main if that is the approach they choose. And then um, uh, the sewer service shall have detectable underground utility marking tape and tracing wire, and then provide a detailed engineering review of the existing system showing available capacity and any modifications required to com accommodate the proposed uh, bathrooms into the, uh, uh, for the connection to the existing um, force main. 
Just for that. And then provide a final plan uh, submitted to the superintendent for approval, including details of any upgrades required by the, uh, to the town's existing system. And the uh, sewer permit, permit is required. A complete application and associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to that, no uh, on site site sewer work shall be completed. And that is motion. So conditions. Is there a second? second? Moved and seconded. Questions or comments? I have yeah. a question, Mr. Chairman, about the existing force main and pump station. Is that an heat one or a barn system that is amenable for a hearing portion? It is. Um, it's the force main that services the Ferry Beach parking lot pump station. Yeah. Um, and it is a... My recollection is that it is a flight pump. Two flight pumps, actually. Would so, be, is it is it unlikely that this flight pump would actually um, be impacted by the entry of 200 gallons a day of flow into the system? I, yeah, I I I, I really. I really assume feel that there'd be no issue with that connection. I assume that's why they get a heavy detailed engineering review. Of the yes, they, they would hire an engineer to come in and, and confirm the pumping valves on that. And that, that's what I would like to see to confirm that. But my intuitive feeling is that it will not be an issue. Um, my question, is there any other questions? I just had a question on the on the flows. Mm -hmm. are, are they going to be served by a public water district uh, water uh, service to the house, and is it going to be metered, or how will we know what uh, what the use, usage is? You know, that's a good question. I assume they were going to be on public water right there, but I would have to confirm that. Okay. But yeah. So I would guess that if that's not the case, the easiest thing to do would be to meter the flow from the pump station. Yeah. And I think we can actually take care of working out. Aubrey. I have one just sort of general question. The location where this rest this restroom is proposed, has that had been flooded lately? I know it says the pump station shouldn't be protected from flooding, but I'm just kind of curious, like, is it underwater often or is it well? No, it's oh. it's right within um, the center of the maintenance area. There are a couple of holes. It's right. It's right by the maintenance area on on Ferry Road. Right? Oh, it's going to be yes, but it's going to be further there. in to yeah. service right. a bunch of. Yeah, but it's not. There's nothing tidal there, and there's no. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of I couldn't picture where it was going to be. Is it going to answer my question? Same elevation as the plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> all right, no, other, no further questions or comments. All those in favor of the motion? None opposed? Unanimous. Thank you. Um, last item of new business is the uh, monthly budget summary. Move We've been seconded. Any, any questions on the budget summary? I have a question. Who? I moved it. Jason. J oh, Jason and then Nick. Rob. I second. Oh, Nick. Okay. You go first. Questions? Oh, oh wait, wait, I have a question. Question. You have a question, Rob. Okay. Um, my reading is aligned, right, but our legal is up to 160% of what we budgeted. Mm-hmm. Does it happen to be any associated with the request for the use of our property? Correct. I think there's a, uh, I think we've received a check that's not shown in that budget line to cover those costs. Okay, so we have something that's to offset that. Correct. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? All those in favor of the motion to approve the monthly budget summary? All in favor, none opposed. Okay, next item is public comments. Since there is no public in attendance, we'll move on to trustee comments. Nick? I'll start by saying a big thank you to Wanda and all. 
the work she's done. She added uh, boost and morale for the crew, as I can see that the employee appreciation center and it seems like she's got a good head on her shoulders. Thank you, Ron. I also wanted to welcome all of you to our August board. Aubrey. Well, I want to thank Nick for his warm welcome, and same to the rest of you. Thank the rest of us now, because we're all going to give you a warm welcome. Well, thanks to all of you. <laughs> so that times times six or seven. My bad. Um, I should I should have asked you to speak last so you could do that. No, I know. No, I'll I was as quick as I was as quick as man. Oh, oh, I, I see how it's going to be. No, but I do appreciate it. I'm excited about it, and uh, thanks to all of you for being supportive of uh, me running. Rob. Welcome to the board. Oh, you. <laughs> uh, congratulations to you and Joseph M. Yes. On election. <laughs> Unfortunately, Joseph P. got a vote too, I guess. Uh, no, thank you for running for the board and uh, being willing to serve. Uh, thank you to our staff for their unending great work. And David, thank you for the work and other staff who helped you on the budget. Uh, also wanted to put a kudos out there to some young uh, thespians in the community who just finished a very nice run, the Oak Hill Players. Uh, crazy for you. Uh, I don't know how many productions they did, quite a few of them. Ten. In, what? Ten. Ten of them. Ten of them. And uh, there were a couple of individuals, uh, of course, there were quite a few who, who participated and did a quite a nice job. But I'd like to point out some very uh, good performance by supporting cast by one Benjamin Rico <laughs> and one Hayden McSorley. Uh, did an excellent job in their supporting roles. And uh, I would also like to uh, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and gobble out. Jason. Well, again, welcome to Aubrey and Joe, if he's watching. He wasn't able to make it tonight, but uh, congrats on the election. Look forward to having you on the board. Uh, big thanks to Ben for his steadfast work as the chair in the past year. So thanks, Ben. And uh, thank you to all the staff, as usual, They're doing a fantastic job and continuing to represent us very well. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to all. Thank you. Then. I'd like to welcome Aubrey to the door. <laughs> I guess you got at the beginning of the meeting, but you did. No, it's, uh, and it's always you know, it's good that you're willing to volunteer to do this stuff. So. And I'd also like to thank Charlie for stepping up and being the uh, chair for the coming year. And I want to thank everyone for my year as a chair last year. So. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Ben, for your service this past year as chair and uh, did a great job. All the meetings ran smoothly and you dealt with all the issues uh, very professionally and uh, I hope that I can look back a year from now and say I did as good a job as you did. Um, i also like to welcome Aubrey and also Joe Carroll. Congratulations to both of you. Um, certainly, uh, certainly going to uh, Having new blood is always a good thing. We'll get some fresh perspectives on things, and I'm sure uh, have have questions raised um, that uh, will make us scratch our heads and think sometimes. Um, and uh, so, new blood is good blood, and uh, I'm looking forward to working uh, with you and the other members of the board in the current uh, coming year. Uh, and thanks to the superintendent for his continued outstanding work and also the staff. I think when we did our budget um, workshop earlier this evening, um, we saw some instances where staff was st saving us money um, through their capabilities to do work in-house that we otherwise would have to be uh, farming out. And uh, so as usual, I think we're all very appreciative for the quality of our people and for their willingness to step up and go beyond the beyond the normal workday kind of events to make sure things uh, are done uh, professionally and promptly. And I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much turkey. Thank you. With that, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved.
Second. All in favor? We are adjourned. Thank you.